This is Mike from OTG Gaming, and in this guy. This is Bill from Contra. Mike from OTG Gaming. He is no sissy boy. Watch his next tutorial. You'll become a manly man. Let's go! Well now, thank you for that introduction, Bill. So let's quickly cover which core, settings, and shaders to use for playing NES in RetroArch. First off, in the online updater, Core Downloader, I recommend grabbing the Mesen Core if you're on a higher end system. A good alternative if you're on a lower end system is SCUMM. Here's a brief breakdown of the pros and cons of each emulator core. Now the other MUs here are good as well, but my go-to is Mesen because of its high accuracy. Hey, Nestopia! I think I vacationed here. Yeah. The beaches were wonderful, but the food was terrible. I had these squirts for days. It was like the spread shot out my ass. Okay, that's enough of that. Let's move on. If you don't know how to add games to RetroArch, just check out my tutorial playlist in the description. For now, with an NES game running, we're going to open the core options and take a look at a few settings you might want to tinker with. First up is the palette option, which allows you to choose a custom color palette for your NES games. As you can see, there is a number to choose from, and my personal favorite is Original Hardware by Firebrand X. Look at all the wonderful pretty colors! Next up is the Remove Sprite Limit option. Now the NES's original hardware had a limitation wherein it could only display 8 sprites per scan line, causing flickering when more than 8 sprites are present. Now turning this on removes that limitation and eliminates the flickering, making for a smoother visual experience. Be forewarned though that enabling this feature can make some games more difficult because it allows more enemy sprites to appear on screen. Turn it on! The more enemies the better! Uh, uh, turn it off! Turn it off! Finally, this is a nice little feature here that allows for shifting your controller buttons clockwise. Basically, this takes the B and A buttons and gives them a vertical alignment instead of a horizontal one. For many, including myself, this tends to be a more comfortable alignment when playing certain games. Why would anyone want to play like that? There's no such thing as comfortable unless you want to be a weakling. Maybe you need a little baby controller for your little baby hands. <sighs> well, uh, let's finish by talking about what is one of my favorite aspects of RetroArch, and that is the graphic shaders. Now, the Nintendo being an 8-bit system, these shaders really soften these older games up and give them what I might call a very comfy and retro vibe. You can see some of my favorite shaders as you watch the video and they cycle through. There's no way I can cover them all, so please feel free to share your favorite in the comments if I haven't covered it here. Those shaders look terrible. Why would anyone do that? If you want a CRT look, you should just play on original hardware. Well, honestly, many folks don't have access to original hardware or a CRT, and emulation and shaders is the only way that they can enjoy many of these classics in a form that's somewhat close to the originals. And besides, wouldn't you agree it takes a strong, secure person to allow others just to enjoy what they like without insisting that they should have the same preferences as you do? Relax, I was just joking. I think you shouldn't be so sensitive like a CC. Okay. Anyhow, I've discussed in previous videos how I'm a huge fan of the Mega Bezel project by Hyperspace Madness, and in particular, some of the overlays that have been created by developer Duimon are just awesome. If you have a powerful enough system to run them, I highly recommend them. I'll link his work in the description below. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I forgot. My dino nuggets are ready. Hey, uh, Bill? Are you still there? Can you finish up this video for me? Of course, Mike. You are my friend. Of course, I will help you. Go. Enjoy your nuggies. Hey, thanks. See y'all later. Now that he is gone, must be honest, Mike is kind of a sissy boy. I was just being nice earlier. I mean, look, he doesn't even have 5,000 subscribers. But we can help him. Please, like this video. And subscribe to the channel and then watch the next video 
It is the only way we can help Mike become a manly man. Please do it. Do it now. Until next time. Hostel bye bye.